Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna show how to make that trip in liquid effect in After Effects. Before we get into the video, I just wanna say that 88% of you watching my content are not subscribed. I would really appreciate if you go down and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification to get notified when I upload a new video. So that being said, let's jump into it. Hey guys, what's up? We're back in After Effects. Now I already have my clip rotoscoped out. This is Yeet from Popping Music Video. Like I is rotoscoped out it. So once you rotoscope your nail, go to the rotoscope effect and just increase the feather a bit. So it is a bit smoother. And make the shift edge to like minus 20. Once you do that, just select your clip and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it one time and go to the bottom layer and just delete the rotoscope from it. So your clip now your clip will look norm but we have our isolated subject in the top layer then to make things organized i'm gonna hit enter rename the clip like bg so it is a background and hit enter again and i'll name this row too so when we apply effect it is a bit easier to apply then just duplicate your bg one time so you have a bg2 then go to effect spanner and drag and drop a uh, CC scale wipe effect, drag and drop the CC wipe effect on the middle clip. We apply this effect to just stretch the pixel. So yeah, as you can see, I made a full video on how to stretching the pixel in After Effects. So, so uh, you can check the video in the i card. Then I'll make the direction to like 180. I'll set the stretch to like 15. So it is stretched like crazy. Then I will just hit E to bring up my effect in CC scale wipe. I'll just hit the stopwatch icon in here so that creates a new keyframe as you can see. Then going a bit further, I'll just uh, decrease the value to zero. So you will have a quick little animation like this. Then go into my effects and preset panel, drag and drop a displacement map on the middle clip again. Then in the effect control, place it above your CC scale wipe effect. This effect just distorts everything, so you can see here. So I'm gonna make it to like 100 and just hit the stopwatch icon in here. Then going to my timeline, I'm gonna hit U. Then going to the last keyframe of the CC scale wipe, I'm gonna make it to like 0 again. Going to my effects and preset, I'll drag the color balance acceleration to my middle clip again. Then you can set it to whatever color you like. I'm gonna go with this alloys kind of look. I guess it looks cool. Then hit the stopwatch icon in the U. Then go into your timeline and just hit U to bring up all the keyframe and go into the last keyframe again and set it to zero. So we have a color cycle like this. Then go into my effects and preset. I'm gonna add a S under as underscore glow this is a sapphire glow i'm gonna use the sapphire glow you can also use the building glow in after effect so so you don't have to purchase the whole sapphire pack for this so i'm gonna go down the stress hole so it is glowing a bit to my liking then i'm gonna increase the brightness i guess that looks fine so we already have this crazy distortion effect then just hit the toggle switches and mode on the threshold again and then go to your timeline and hit u and go to the last keyframe again and just make it to one threshold to one so the clip will get normal again and then you will have a glowing effect like this and then i'll just select both of these glow keyframe and put it above here so we have glow until the end so we put it our glow keyframe over here because we want because we want the glow displaying in the last when the distortion ends then that's it for this clip then i'll select the middle clip and hit ctrl d to duplicate it one time so we have a bz3 selecting my bz3 clip i'll go to my effects control and just delete the cc scale wipe and ask glow from here so you will have a clip looking like this. Then hit toggle switches and mode and set the blending mode to add. Then I will add some finishing touches on here. So I'm gonna add a so I'm gonna add a motion tile in here. Drag and drop it onto my BZ3 clip. 
and put it over my displacement map and all those effects and set the output width and height to 200 and just hit mirror edges once you add all of your motion dial and all of this effect you'll get this crazy effect like this but this background is still bright really bright because we set the blending mode to head so let's fix that when the distort nearly ends i'm gonna hit on to my bz3 clip so it will bring our opacity panel like this then hit the stopwatch icon in here and go a bit further and set it to zero then i'm gonna bring a bit closer then you'll have that glowing disappears again to add that final sauce i'm gonna hit you onto my bz2 clip now select your displacement map and cc scale wipe uh, keyframe and just hit F9 so the animation is a bit smoother as I will select the displacement map keyframe again and go to my graph properties then copy the graph that I'm making I tested a lot of graph on this effect and I think this graph works the best for this clip this is the graph I'm using so you can copy that and just I'm gonna select the CC scale wipe keyframe again go into my graph and make the same graph in here once you do that, you'll have your final effect looking like this. So that's it for today's video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. So see ya in next video. Bye.